Let's examine another web, web work problem. Here we've got a circle. We know what the center of the circle is and we know a point that is on the circle. Now, When you're given something like this, take a minute and make sure that you're visualizing what's happening. Uh, in particular, be sure, let's uh, draw a picture here. Let's, there's my y-axis. There's my x-axis, and the center of this circle is at 2 minus 1. There's 2 minus 1. So there's the center of the circle. We know that there's a point on the circle at negative 8, uh, negative 6, negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that point right there is a point on the circle. And there's the center. So imagine taking a string, hooking it onto the center, and drawing that circle. So the circle is going to look something like this. Okay, now that's a, a bad picture, but be sure that you're seeing and visualizing in your mind what's going on. The, there, there were two given pieces of information, that this was the center at 2, negative 1, and that this was a point on the circle at uh, negative 6, negative 8, and so you can actually kind of visualize and see where that circle is. Now the important thing to notice here is that there is a right triangle right here. Okay. Now when we've got right triangles, there's lots of things that we can do. For example, we can work with the Pythagorean theorem. So let's worry about how far it is from here to here. Well, it's a distance of 2 here, and it's a distance of 6 here. So that total distance is 8. That sometimes is calculated by saying, well, you're at 2 minus a negative 6. Okay, you're kind of finding the, dist the difference between those two points. This distance right here started at a negative 1, and went down to a negative 8. So it's a negative 1 minus a negative 8 in absolute value. Okay, That's equal to 7. So we know that this length is 7. We know that this length is 8. So we can find this distance right here is just a Pythagorean theorem. It's going to be a 7 squared plus an 8 squared, whatever that amount is. Okay, So we'll be able to enter that uh, in here. Now notice the web work can often do those calculations for you. So, so we could, could actually write in the radius of that is the square root of 7 squared plus 8 squared. Just a matter of being a, 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 it's always good to kind of preview your answers as you go along here. And uh, then, uh, sure enough, okay, we're right about that part. Now let's worry about this, this uh, uh, other part. Uh, this is going to be a, an X. Well, the center was at 2. That will be an x minus a 2 and a y minus a minus 1. Okay, is equal to the radius squared, which is going to be a 7 squared plus an 8 squared. Now look at Khan Academy's discussion of, of equations of circles or or some other places to be sure that you're understanding how that formula comes about. Let me just preview my answer. 
Okay, it's looking like that's right. Let's check the answer and see if. Oh. Got. Uh, maybe it's insisting that we do that calculation. Um, I'll come back and fill in an extra note about that.